Hello and welcome back to Crypto Mischief, where I show you ways in which you can keep your money out of the hands of those despicable governments. If I was to quickly explain to you what the hell the Binance Smart Chain is, because now we have the Binance Chain, the Binance Smart Chain, the Ethereum Chain, the Polkadot Chain, the Tron Chain. There's a lot going on at the moment. If we wanted to start trading uh, altcoins on a DeFi, decentralized uh, exchange, not like Kraken or Coinbase or even Binance, we wanted to use DeFi, we would be using generally Uniswap, Mooniswap, One Inch. All of these are on the Ethereum network and all of these need gas, which is paid for in Ethereum. Recently, the past month, we've seen an absolute explosion of the price in Ethereum, which has congested their network, which now means that the general price for a transaction is about 120 to 130 guay which means in dollar terms, you're paying about 40 to 60 to $80 per transaction, which I'm not okay with. And it turns out that a lot of people are not okay with this. Binance started their smart chain last year, but it's only really started to take hold in the past four weeks. What is the Binance smart chain? Instead of using Uniswap on the Ethereum network, we use PancakeSwap on the Binance smart chain. Instead of paying with Ethereum at, for your gas, which is extremely expensive on the Ethereum network, we pay with BNB token on the Binance network, which, and the gas fees on Binance are really fucking cheap. <laughs> so you take that and you take this explosion of uh, DeFi dApps of DeFi apps, of dApps onto the Binance Smart Chain. And there you have the perfect storm for the general investor getting involved and finding a place where they can play with DeFi and not have to pay ridiculous gas fees for making transactions, which means you can hop in and out of projects as much as you want. You can trade coins for as little as one to two dollars. You can add liquidity for as little as one to two dollars. There are massive yield optimization dApps where you can just take what you have and keep compounding it, super compounding it, and it does it all for you, for cheap, sometimes even for free. This is a revolution in how we deal with DeFi, and it is crushing Ethereum right now. This is why if you like DeFi, you enjoy passive income apps, or you enjoy yield farming, you must figure out, get on to the Binance Smart Chain. Okay, so here we go. How to set up your Binance Smart Chain in three minutes. Let's jump into the computer and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so here we are. I'm on Brave Browser. This is our MetaMask. I'm on, you see up here, we are on Ethereum mainnet. So this is how I will be dealing with the Ethereum network. But I don't want to be doing that right now. I want to be on the Binance network. So you're going to have to add an extra net network to your MetaMask. So we go up here, we click on the Ethereum mainnet. Here you see test networks for like new dApps that are being made on the Ethereum network. And I have here BSC mainnet. I made this one by myself. If you're going to make it by yourself, you're going to go here into custom RPC, custom. Okay. And what you want to do now is copy exactly what I've put in the description and what I'm going to put up on the screen right now. BSC mainnet, copy. And we pop. I've already saved it, so easy. Uh, 56, currency symbol BNB, block explorer, what was that? This one, BSC scan. Okay, pop that in there. I don't need to save this because I've already done it. You even see there that it says already present in existing list of networks. So I've already added this. Uh, this is legit. This is how you set up for the Binance network. So I'll go back out because I've already made my one and we're going to go in. I'm going to pop into it where our BSC network. And now I am in Binance mainnet. Notice here, instead of saying Ether now, I have BNB token. This is now my gas paying token that you need to have in your MetaMask to be able to do anything on the Binance smart chain. If you have BNB token, then that's fantastic. You can start to send that through into the Binance uh, smart chain from the Binance chain, because now you have to remember that these are two different things. Binance now exists in two places. Uh, to make this clear, I advise you to also download this next wallet. So let's have a look at the Binance wallet. You can get the Binance wallet from the link in the description. Here we have Binance Chain Network, Binance Smart Chain Network. See, these are two different chains. How are we, are we going to get our BNB from the chain network into 
the smart chain where all the cool dApps are. Let's do it. Okay, the first way is extremely simple. If you use Binance, the centralized exchange, I don't. But if you do use it, then you can easily buy a BNB token on Binance. You send your Binance into your account here by clicking on this copy button. That's copying your account. To get it onto the Binance Smart Chain, it's as simple as uh, click over to your the top part, go to Binance Smart Chain Network, copy there, go back, Binance Chain Network, remember the boring exchange one, basically one is centralized, one is DeFi. The Binance Chain Network is centralized, the Binance Smart Chain is DeFi. So we're gonna take that there, I don't have any in here, but I'm showing you, and then you would just send your BNB from here into your Binance Smart Chain address. Cross chain transfer to Binance Smart Chain. And then put the amount you want to send, and there you are. Then that will now be available in the Binance Smart Chain. Second option, you don't use Binance, and you need BNB token to start this exciting adventure on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, I did this once, and then after, after which point, as long as I leave 0 0.1, 0 0.01 BNB token in my Binance Smart Chain MetaMask, then I can always get more by just trading it with other things. I'll show you very soon how to do this. So we quickly just want to use, I used Atomic Wallet because it has a pretty fast uh, exchange method. So what did I do? I sent uh, Ethereum into the Atomic Wallet. You can do anything really. You can send Tron, you can send Ethereum, you can send Tether. So you just put here, receive. So you want to receive some Ethereum, you take your address, you copy it. Send the Ethereum in from any ERC20 source. Could be your centralized exchange, could be even from your MetaMask, from the Ethereum side. Uh, then you once you get it, you're gonna go back to exchange and you're gonna turn your ETH that you were sent into BNB. There is a fee for this, which is why I don't use it so often, but basically, yes, so say you sent in zero point, even, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 ETH is enough just to get started because you're going to get half of a BNB for 0 0.2 ETH will get you 1.9 BNB. Perfect. That's more than enough for what we're going to be doing. Uh, this will charge you $8 in network fee, which is why I don't like to do it so often. Do that, exchange. You will then have your BNB. Okay. Now, what do you want to do? You want to send your BNB that you just got from your atomic wallet into your Binance wallet. So here's a question, which side of your Binance wallet do you want to send it to? Are you going to send it to Binance chain or are you going to send it to Binance smart chain? Tick tock, tick tock. Okay, we need to send it first to Binance chain, just the centralized exchange, okay? So we're sending it to Binance chain, send it over. Then you will put the BNB you want to send to and then you will send, okay? paying the network fee in BNB. It's gonna cost you 0.1 USD to send it all over. That will send all the way over to your BNB wallet. It should be almost instantaneous. So from that point, you will go to your Binance Smart Chain. You will hit copy. You will then go back to Binance Chain and you will send that BNB to the cross chain transfer to the Binance Smart Chain. And there you are. Then you're done. Say how much you want to send. What was it? 2 BNB, something like that. Send it over and then it will arrive. Okay. And you will then have money in your Binance Smart Chain. So now we can go to PancakeSwap, which is the Uniswap of the Binance Smart Chain. Remembering that you need to be on the side of the Binance Smart Chain network, not the Binance Chain network. We'll then ask you to connect. And there we are. Okay. So you can now use your BNB on the Binance Smart Chain with your Binance Wallet on the side of the Binance Smart Chain, not the Binance Chain. Not confusing at all. <laughs> uh, however, I don't really use the Binance Wallet very often. I like using my MetaMask Wallet and that's why I told you in the beginning how to set it up. Because what I did was I then took the BNB that I had on the Binance Smart Chain side and I then sent it to my MetaMask, which I'd also set up for Binance. So this is the final step of, you can choose here, it's really a decision. Do you wanna use the Binance wallet or do you wanna just use one wallet for everything? I prefer just to use one wallet for everything. 
So in a way, I just downloaded the Binance wallet for that one step. If I ever completely run out of BNB token, um, just maybe I make a mistake in a trade, then I'll have to repeat this process. But this is a really uh, the simplest way I could find to get BNB into your account if you don't already have Binance. How to get it over? You will need to send from the Binance Smart Chain Network. We're going to send our BNB to our MetaMask. So we go over to our MetaMask. The address for your both sides of your MetaMask on Binance or on Ethereum are exactly the same. You'll see here, uh, Binance Mainnet OX4D and Ethereum OX4D. So it's exactly the same address. So I, what I did was I went here, I copied this, and then I sent it over. You will pay the gas in BNB, not in Ethereum. Then it will arrive in your MetaMask. If you want to join PancakeSwap on your MetaMask, you do exactly the same way. You just connect here to your MetaMask. I'm linked here to MetaMask. And that's it. This is how you do it all. You now have brought your BNB onto the Binance Smart Chain. Here you can see I have 0 0.4. That is enough for me to be able to bring any asset in that I need because I don't need to keep repeating this process because I don't want to pay that 8 or 16 or sometimes $20 gas on the Atomic Wallet to bring more in. For this, we're going to use the Binance Bridge, okay? And actually, we're going to—I'm going to go through this with you with a small amount of Ethereum just to show you how it works. This is the Binance Bridge. The link to this is in PancakeSwap. We have Exchange, Liquidity, and Bridge. It brings you to Bridge. What we're doing here is we're transferring a token from an ERC20 into a, a Binance Smart Chain. Was it BEP? Or we're changing a TRX into Binance Smart Chain money. So I'm going to do Ethereum side. So here we have the Ethereum network. We're going to take the Ethereum network ETH and change it into Binance ETH. So I want to send 0.1 ETH. I'm going to send that over. A word of warning. Do not send from a centralized exchange because you need to send exactly the right amount of Ethereum to the bridge to get it to change it into Binance ETH. Okay. I've already made the mistake once and I lost 0.1 ETH doing this because I sent it from my Kraken. Kraken took a little bit of money for the for the transfer, which actually knocked off the amount that is sent and it fucked everything. So send from a DeFi wallet that like MetaMask so that the gas fee is on top of the transaction that you're making. So I will go 0.1 and I'll say yes. OK, so Ethereum to the Binance Smart Chain. You have an option here. I always just, because I'm using a MetaMask, I say I will send tokens from my own wallet. Just to make sure, 0.1 ETH, destination, this is where it's going. Da, 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 da. Okay, confirm. And it will give you an address. You need to copy this address because you're going to send your 0.1 ETH to this address. I go to my MetaMask on the Ethereum side and I will send to the address that I just took there, okay? This is a new address because every time the bridge changes the address. So you always have to copy the new address, 0 0.1. Exactly. Can you believe that 0 0.1 ETH is now $192? This is insane. I'm going to pay $6 extra for the transfer. And we send. Okay, so while that is all sending, then we pop back over here to our uh, bridge. And it will start to show you some confirmations of transactions. There are 12 stages it has to go through. This generally takes about 10 minutes. So I'll just come back to you after 10 minutes. I'm not going to waste your time. Okay, so the transactions have gone through. It came up with a little message just saying it's gone past. The way I can check is I pop over to PancakeSwap. And I can see here before I didn't have any ETH in my uh, account, my wallet, my MetaMask. And now I do. I have Binance ETH. So I can now change this Binance ETH into anything I want. So I could put it into BNB, but I already have for the transactions. Also, you need BMD for liquidity. I could change it into, oh, here's a new one, BR34P. So my 0.1 could turn into 6 BR34P if I wanted. Uh, there's lots of different things to buy. I've been buying a lot of Reef here as well. Okay. And the last way which we can use the Binance Bridge is actually you can use it as well with TRX. If you have any USDT sitting in your TRX wallet, you can also send from TRX into Binance Smart Chain. 
That is how to get set up on the Binance Smart Chain with MetaMask, with Binance Wallet, with all that stuff. Hope this was quick enough for you. If you have any questions, please check on my Telegram or check in the comment section below. All the sign-in details for the MetaMask are in the link in my description too, uh, as is the link for Binance Wallet, MetaMask, PancakeSwap, all that good stuff. Um, because we're all set up now, my next video is going to be my top four picks for the Binance Smart Chain this week. So I've got four dApps or tokens, which I am really bullish on. This past three weeks, I've been making a lot of money. So let's see how much more we can make together. Okay. Like, subscribe, follow, and let's really ride this, the rest of this bull market out together and see what we can grab and keep. Okay. Don't get wrecked.